Hello, everybody. It's Jonathan Senior Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County, New York. It's almost mid-December. It's Hanukkah. Christmas is on the way. New Year's to follow. And I am stoked to say goodbye to 2020. How about you? I think I know the answer. Anyway, it is time for another outdoor kitchen analysis. We are planting the seeds, getting you all inspired for your 2021 builds. The time is now, the time is nigh. You really need to start moving on these projects. I know you thought you were gonna start doing it in March or April. I tell you, no, 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 too late. Supply chain issues, issues getting contractors, issues pulling permits. Get the process going, at least start thinking about what you wanna do. Anyway, what we're doing is we're taking a bunch of the islands, a bunch of the projects that we worked on over the past year and uh, we are sharing them with you to show best practices, to show you ideas, to show you things that may not have worked. So here we are. Uh, this build is in Chappaqua, New York. This was completed about uh, six weeks ago. Great guy, really nice guy. And when he came in here initially, and I want to say he came in in around May, uh, he had no idea what he wanted to do. Absolutely no clue. But he knew this much. He had to build the island, the outdoor kitchen, on a deck. So right off the bat, we're on a deck, cinder block, out of the question. You cannot build it the traditional way. You cannot build block because you need a pad and you can't pour a concrete pad on a deck. So right off the bat, the Ring of Fire Outdoor Kitchen Solution, the islands that we design, build, and provide, um, was the absolute way to go. So start off with, uh, you know, I chatted with them on the phone a few times, actually quite more than a few times. We had a lot of long email exchanges. And uh, then we started getting design renderings together and tweaked them. There were some questions about how long the island should be. And since he was doing an L, uh, there were some concerns about how much the, uh, the return should be because he did not want to impede traffic flow onto the deck. Um, there was a question about an outdoor pizza oven, which initially he wanted to build in. And I told him it wasn't a good idea. Um, he wanted to put it on the straight run, which is 144 inches. I thought that was going to be way too much traffic on the straight run because I am a stickler for countertop space. You need, especially with two cooking devices, because he has a um, he has a, a grill and the pizza oven. And um, I just said that was too much to put on that one run. You need more counter space. And what he ended up doing was he took the pizza oven on the L did not caddy corner it, did not angle it. He put it on the L and um, what we did is underneath, which was, a, it was actually a very popular thing this year, is we built an arch opening so he can go put wood in there. So it's got a very nice aesthetic, you know, appeal to it. Very nice, see the wood stacked up in there and it's functional because he needs to feed this particular oven. Is a wood burner, it's from Alpha, the Alpha One oven, one of their newer ones. And that, that, um, that's a wood burner. So he's got his wood right there to feed it. So very functional and very aesthetically pleasing. Um, what we did, and that, and that arch had to be centered. There was a lot of back and forth about that. I think what he did is he lined the inside of it with fire brick. Onto the island itself, um, 144 inches by, I wanna say it's like 50, 58 on the return and um, he was backing up to a railing. Um, again, there were some questions about the return, how far out it could go, because he didn't want to mess around with the traffic. He has kids and he was planning and entertaining a lot, thinking about, as I said, everybody, let's think about post COVID. We are not gonna be socially distancing uh, for the rest of our lives. You're going to have people over again, right? So, um, uh, we took the traffic flow situation into account and I mean, he ended up again with 144 by about 55 and um, he opted to do uh, the El Dorado veneer with, um, I believe, a decked in countertop, which he was drawn to because this is um, on a southern exposure and he knew he was going to get gnarly hot during the uh, late morning and all afternoon. So yeah, I opted to go with a lighter colored decked in top, which would be um, basically cool to touch even in the hottest uh, um, uh, environments. Um, the grill, the components, we have to touch upon that. He didn't want to go crazy. 
did not want to go crazy. So he was not going to look for DCS, Alfresco, Lynx. He wasn't a candidate for that. Um, if anything, I think he's going to use the pizza oven more because he's looking at the pizza oven more as a wood-burning outdoor oven, which is what I told him it should be. You're limiting yourself by just looking at these alpha ovens as just pizza vehicles. Go try putting a cast iron steak in there, okay? And tell me what that tastes like after that wood tickles it. Absolutely astounding. But anyway, um, he was the perfect Blaze customer, okay? Blaze, which he's been selling for you know five years now. Um, it's, he didn't do Blaze Pro, he did the normal Blaze line, he did the Blaze 5 LTE, which is their largest grill. Okay, that's, that's the largest from the, from the normal Blaze series. That's gonna be 39 inches, give or take. Um, and he has underneath it one of my favorite components, the BLZ DDC 39R. That's their 39 inch door and draw combo. Go marries perfectly with the Blaze 5 grill. And then, what he did was a um, uh, the Blaze Dual Trash, which is a BLZ TREC DRW. So with that uh, product, you get both trash and recycling. And I did try to talk him into getting a Marvel refrigerator. I just prefer the American built fridges. Um, winter icing them is a cinch. He just wanted everything to match, and he went with the Blaze 5.2 cubic foot fridge. It's their most expensive one at $13.79, but it is uh, UL approved for outdoor use. Very important because one of their fridges is not. Um, so once again, we have all Blaze above and below, and on the bend we have the Alpha one with the arch. It's a pretty simple island, but it looks beautiful. It's functional. He was so happy when this was completed. For a guy that, so for a guy that came here with absolutely no idea as to what he wanted, other than the fact that where this thing needed to be placed, he came out of this pretty, pretty psyched. It's a beautiful island, it's functional, it's not too crazy. He does leverage, he does have the fridge, but he leverages his indoor kitchen. Okay, so there was no, it's right there off the deck, so he doesn't need to get an ice maker or anything like that. Food warmer. Didn't need to do a sink. It's functional, it's simple, it's kick-ass. I'm very proud of the job that we did on here and I'm very happy that this guy's happy. I know he was having a big uh, party in September for one of his kids or something like that, which in these socially distant days puzzled me, but who am I to ask? Um, I hope the party was insane and I hope everybody was wearing masks. But anyway, um, uh, the pictures, again, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so happy for him. Um, so that's it. Uh, any questions, please, Jonathan at Curtos.com or questions at ROFGrills.com, whatever tickles your fancy. Calm down to the showroom, New Jersey, Connecticut. Doesn't matter where you live, all the parkways dump out right down the street from us. Doesn't matter where you live, all the highways dump out five minutes down the road from us. Come visit the ring, follow the smoke. We're here to help. Get your 2021 outdoor kitchen project rolling. Thank you.